Okay, we're here at H. Preston's in Morven, and we're talking to uh, Richard Payne from Holden, who's come to talk about the uh, EVA 1, uh, which is set between the GH5 and the Varicam range. So, what can you tell us about this new camera? Well, fundamentally, uh, it's all about the new sensor. Um, so, so EVA 1 is as exactly as you say, it's, it's, it's pitched between GH5, closer to the Varicam LT really than the GH5. It's a, it's a proper video camera uh, with good ergonomics for the sort of self-shooters. Vericam LT is more of a system camera, more designed for, for a crew where you've got a sound man you, or you know, for, for dramas or, or a higher end documentary. This, this is, is a sort of everyman camera. You could use this for, a, for events, for news gathering, uh, but also for, for drama and uh, the sensor is so good, it will, the pictures will easily stand stand up against um, a Vericam for, for even a B camera use in, in broadcast. So, so if I take you through some of the features, as I say, there's this new sensor from Panasonic which they've developed in-house. It's 5.7K, um, so much higher than the 4K you need for, for 4K video. And that extra resolution gives you a couple of benefits. One is it gives you more color information, more brightness information, which can be downsampled in the camera by the very powerful processing units uh, to give you better pictures in 4K. But also, uh, it can be used for electronic image stabilization. So even with manual lenses, you can get a very good stabilization from that sensor because it uses 4K out of the 5.7K and so movements, small movements can be taken out electronically before it's recorded. Uh, it will record 10-bit 422 4K up to 25 or 30p uh, onto low-cost media. You can use SDXC cards, fast cards like Lexar 1000 cards uh, will, will record up to 150 megabits which the camera will do on release but if you want to record the 400 megabit mode, which is coming in a future upgrade, you'll need new V90 cards um, from Panasonic or Delkin. So look for the V90 speed. That, that means that the camera will consistently write at very high bit rates for a long time, so you won't get any drop frames. But, but still, the media is much lower cost than CFast or, or anything else, really, um, on a similar camera to this. So the other unique feature of the 5.7K sensor is dual ISO. This is a very clever system which is, is exclusive to Panasonic cameras. Dual ISO means that this camera has two native sensitivities, two native ISOs, one at 800 and one at 2500. This means if you're in a low light situation, you'd obviously put it on native 2500, put it on the higher ISO and you'll get no more noise than you would do at 800 for low ISO stuff. Um, and obviously if you're in a bright situation, with bright light, beaches, things like that, then you put it down to the lower ISO of 800. Now, this, is, this camera is incredibly clean. It will give you some lovely low light images. And one of the best ways to do that is to put it in 2,500 and actually reduce the ISO down to 1,000 or so. So it's still very sensitive, but with absolutely no noise. So you can get very, very clean pictures out in low light and obviously in bright light. You, you don't have problems with noise anyway. And even the log, it, it's got V-log, full V-log, not V-log light like a GH5. Um, and even the, the log stuff is, is very, very clean. Um, the V-log is full V-log because it has 14 stops of dynamic range, whereas a GH4, GH5 is more like 11 and a half, 12 stops of range. So this has this extended color, which is fantastic for HDR production. And there are HDR gamma settings in the menus when you, when you go into them. So on, in terms of what it's got as output, we've got 6 gig SDI out, which will give us will give us up to 25p or 30p 4k out and we've got HDMI 2 out as well which will give us 50 60p uh, 4k output um, which is 10-bit 422 if you're going to a, a Convergent Design Odyssey or a Atmos Shoguns and things like that. Um, so, so you've got those two outputs and the output is live even when you're recording internally. There will be the upgrade which will give us the 400 megabit mode onto the V90 cards will also give us um, will also give us raw output from the SDI terminal again for convergent design and for and for Atomos. So you'll get that that raw output 
It's basically using the, the SDI terminal, but it will be a, a raw data. And that, there'll be a 5.7K recording raw mode, so it literally take that whole great resolution by getting straight onto, onto hard drives. So that's, that's going to be brilliant uh, for giving you even more dynamic pictures out of this camera. Um, Off-speed recording, it will do up to 240 frames a second in HD. So, very decent uh, spec. Um, other unique features, we've got the menu system is very reminiscent of the Vericam. It looks, it looks identical to this. It's very easy to see in one glance what, what all the settings are on the camera, but it's also easy to change them. And uh, this also can act as a, as a viewing screen as well. And uh, there's a unique feature called focus squares. It's a, like a form of peaking, but it gives you another dimension of movement. Focus squares is only on the Vericam and this camera in Panasonic's range. It's a series of green boxes on the image, and as the image gets sharper, the box gets larger. And as the image gets, um, gets more out of focus, the, the box shrinks. So you can tell across the whole image whether the boxes are growing or shrinking, not just if it's sharp or not, but if it's coming into focus or going out of focus. And that extra dimension is really useful when you're trying to, trying to pick, especially if you're trying to pull focus on movement. Um, it's a, I should have mentioned a lot earlier, it's a Canon EF mount on it. It's an electronic Canon EF mount and you've got very subtle control over EF lens irises so if you've got an electronic iris on it it's, it's a fraction of stops rather than whole stops or third of stops so, so it gives you very subtle control over that iris so you can rack, um, rack the iris without getting sort of the, the image changing brightness in, in big steps but really what will make this camera sing is, is manual glass and manual lenses that's how you get the best out of it um, we've got four position neutral density filters, so it's clear and then three settings taking you up to 1.8 uh, in neutral density. And we've also got uh, a quite a unique feature on a camera like this as a, uh, an infrared filter which is you're able to remove. So you can do infrared fil uh, filming at the touch of a button. So I've, I've assigned that to use a 9 which is a button on the handle. So with one push I can go straight into infrared mode. But, don't do what I did and then suddenly wonder why you can't white balance. Look for the little IR on the screen. There's a huge amount of features packed into this camera but it's still incredibly light. If, if you take the handle, um, the top handle and the side handle off, it weighs only 1.2 kgs. So, you know, a little more than a bag of sugar. So this is a camera you can use comfortably all day. And of course you can bling it up as well, both with rigs and shoulder rigs and, you know, the general accessories from wooden camera or Vocas or whoever wherever you want to. So one thing I think it definitely needs is, is another, is a monitor or a viewfinder on top. I'm using the small HD focus one here which is very bright, it's 800 nits so it can be seen outdoors but you either need some, a bright monitor or a EVF you know, an electronic viewfinder for use in, in bright light. Although the screen is very good as a control panel and it does give you a good idea of the image, it's, I don't think it's good enough for outdoors use, so you, you will need some extra accessories. Um, so overall, this is a, a light, small, fantastic addition to the Panasonic range. Cheap media, very flexible recording options and very powerful features, including that upgrade which will give you raw out of the, the SDI port later on. So I think Panasonic's got a real winner on its hands with this camera.